What's well, good y'all, it's your boy KCB. We're back at it, we got another one today. So I was just kind of going through some of my uh, old CDs I've had sitting around and uh, you know, just listening to some of them and some across this. Old Kendrick Lamar's Damn album, which had me saying damn to this day. I mean, that album goes so hard. A lot of the beats, you know, there's a lot of changes in them and uh, Kendrick just goes crazy on a lot of those beats. So I wanted to make a beat that would be fitting to be in this album. So let's go ahead and see what we can make for Kendrick. What's good, y'all? It's your boy KCB. We're back at it again. We got another one today. I'm gonna make a uh, beat for Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick's dropped, you know, a ton of great albums. Uh, personally, I think if he would have dropped this year, he could have took over. Um, but you know, Kendrick has, you know, a lot of great albums that, you know, a lot of people debate, you know, which one's the best. Of course, I mean, he has some that has a lot of political messages, and others just have really hard beats. Mine personally, uh, one of my favorite albums is the uh, the Damn album because that uh, whole album has, I mean, some really hard beats on there that um really helped like inspire me to make you know hard beats and um especially in like some of those beats the uh the beat really changes a lot it kind of goes from one mood to kind of stops and it goes really hard and then kendrick just kind of goes off on it so this beat i want to do a few things i want to kind of make a uh kind of like a spacey ambient melody for one part of it and then have that go into just like a hard single piano with you know the um heavy and fast drums with it so that way we can kind of have two different sections of the beat um this isn't something you would do for you know all rappers because some rappers they kind of want to flow like the whole way through where kendrick has a lot of songs where he just cuts into a completely different flow um so that's what we're going to do here so I want to go ahead and kind of make that spacey ambient background first, uh, that melody first. So I went ahead and just took um, a lead, a one shot here. And um, one shots are great if you, um, you know, don't want to open a bunch of VST or plugins or, you know, you don't have Omnisphere or something like that. There's a lot of people out there that have some cool uh, one shot kits that have a lot of high quality noises. Um, so I went ahead and started off with uh, this lead. So it just kind of sounds like that. I mean, it's nice, already ambient. Um, so from there, I just kind of started with some root notes. So I did, um, for this beat, I did 152 BPM. A lot of Kendrick beats are, you know, right around 130, 150, which is really common for a lot of beats. But um, that's just, you know, a good place to start. Um, C sharp minor is a scale that's really popular with um, Kendrick beats and that's honestly a scale I use all the time. I'm super comfortable with it. Um, so we're going to stick with that. So I went ahead and just started out with some root notes. So we're going to go C sharp to D sharp to B to A. So that's kind of our root notes there. I went duplicated it, put it up one octave. And then from there, I just made some minor chords. So I made minor chords, and then I just kind of chopped them at the end here to give a little bit more bounce to it. So it's not just one flowing melody. It kind of has some chops you can hear. You know, it's going to be a little bit different than if it was just the whole way through. Um, then what I did was I went and took the second note of the chord, duplicated it, put it up one octave, and then put it back a bit. Um, so it plays about halfway through that first set there. And then I kind of uh, I kept most of the other ones. And then I cut the end on the top here. And then I put two different notes as well. I just duplicated that. Um, so this is kind of like the start to our background here. So let's see what we got. So, I mean, that's great right there. You can either just do that or I wanted to add just one more um, little melody to this. And so I took another lead here that also is kind of a spacey one already. So, so it sounds like this. And with both of these noises, um, a good way to make your melodies wider. This is what I do with uh, most of my melodies. 
um, is I will just put an EQ on, cut off, you know, where you want the uh, any unwanted frequencies there, and then I add a delay and use the widen preset, and then I use a reverb, do cathedral, um, cut some of the lows and cut the bass out, um, and then I lowered the dry a little bit, added more wetness to it because it was a little bit harsh still. Um, so this is what we got here with the the second lead, which I just kind of threw some real basic notes down here not really even too much of a counter melody still kind of goes with it so it's like this so really simple there but that also kind of has that ambient vibe to it so with uh, both of those together this is what we get So those two go together pretty well, and so that's what I want to do for my first part of the melody. Um, the second part of this beat is going to have um, just a basic uh, piano. I did a compressed piano with this one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it kind of build up, and then it's going to cut and go into pretty much just drums with like the piano and then we're going to do um, a lot of different effects like effects are going to be great um, to just kind of add to it and not uh, take away from where the artist can really go off so like you know i got a triangle here i have you know a bunch of various noises here that i'm going to add into that part um, so we got like some effects like this so we got you know that we got kind of like this right here like that um yeah we got a triangle um open hats and then what i'm gonna do too is um like for this beat these type of beats like you'll make one drum pattern and you'll kind of have that laid out and then for when the um the melody cuts off uh, a lot of times you want to have another drum pattern that goes even faster a little bit crazier so that way it almost feels like two different beats um and so the artist uh kendrick you know can just kind of go crazy on that so that's what we're going to go for so i went and kind of laid out um a drum pattern already so like let's see here and so yeah so once again i wanted to do two um have two different sections here so like one section the first section here is going to be more chill it's going to go into that so this isn't going to have as many drums uh so let's see so i got kind of like this All right, so like that and uh, one thing you can do on these kind of like west coast type of beats is a lot of times you'll layer your claps and like on one clap or sometimes i've seen you know you can layer three or four claps actually and then you could put adjust the shift on each so they don't hit all at the same time it's like almost a delayed effect with the clap um, that's really popular in a lot of west coast beats uh, so I put all those there and so this is a beat where you're going to spend a lot of time um, adjusting it and arranging the actual patterns of the beat so we're actually going to go ahead and split these i'm going to start arranging and then i'm going to go in and um, alter the drums kind of make a second pattern and then i'll show you guys kind of how we're going to link those all together here all right, y'all, so I got it all chopped up here. I added a bunch of different uh, Vox effects, you know, automated some of the volume, some gunshots into our second part of the beat. I ended up only using, you know, maybe, what is that, 30, right around uh, 30 bars or so of the first melody that we did into the harder part. And then it kind of goes back into, not the other beat, but it's going to be a um, little bit of a drum change. Uh, and then it's just going to have a piano right all the way through here, so... The whole point, though, is we want a big build up into this second part of the beat. Um, so go ahead and play it and see what you guys uh, think. And let's see here. Or... Kyle, cook this beat.
So yeah, then we just kind of ride out on that. So that's like three, that could be three different beats right there. And so, like I said, that's something you're only going to do with artists like Kendrick or someone who's there with you to kind of like, you know, to, to go through it, you know, together. Because it's something where if you do that, you send a rapper a beat like that. I mean, they might not know what to do. Like I said, some rappers want to flow, you know, a certain way through the whole time where this is like, you could have three different flows on this type of beat right here. Um, so the buildups are super important. Um, lots of different effects, you know, reverse effects. Like I ended up using 21 different tracks here, which is like the most I've even done for a beat, I think. So you're gonna use a lot of different effects, but it's all about the buildups into it, into almost like another beat. Um, so that's how we made a beat like that. Uh, so, you know, I hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys learned something. Comment down below any other questions you guys have. I really appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to check these videos out. Hit that sub, like, comment, all that. There's going to be a lot more videos on the way. Um, so, hope you guys like the video. Until next time, y'all.